United Nations Environment Assembly brought together the world's governments through their environment ministers to discuss, for the first time at such a level, the global issue of illegal trade in wildlife. We're really going to try to challenge ourselves a little bit in terms of what kind of real commitment we can come out from this conference with. Last night was attended by environment ministers from around the world. There were almost 130 environment ministers. Last night looked at where more action needs to be taken going forward in the context of the United Nations system and the support the UN system can provide to national governments. The Zambian government commits its support to initiatives to strengthen the global fight against illegal trade in wildlife and timber. The world's environment ministers recognise that there are three key issues that need to be addressed in order to resolve and tackle and fight the illegal trade in wildlife, including timber and fisheries. And the first of those is demand for products. In many cases, consumers are unaware that the products they are consuming are sourced from illegal sources. And this is particularly true, for example, for much of the paper, timber, pulp and wood chips around the world derived from illegally sourced timber. The second was the recognition that actually in source countries what's driving some of the supply to that is poverty and poor communities need alternative livelihoods, they need investment, they need support to move away from poaching animals, from illegally cutting down forests, illegally fishing, to alternative and sustainable livelihoods. And the third issue which was recognised last night by many, many environment ministers was the challenge of corruption and how that both drives the trade but also how the trade itself can feed corruption and so the two reinforce each other. Evidence presented to inform discussions last night shows there's a strong link now between illegal trade in wildlife, including timber, fisheries and also particularly charcoal, to threat finance. So the finance supporting uh, militia groups, non-state armed groups and in some cases terrorism groups. We are facing a global crisis in the illegal trade in wildlife. Much of the attention is given to uh, big animals like the African elephants and the rhinos here in, in the continent of Africa. But around the world, wildlife, including timber, trees, plant species, are being harvested illegally to meet a demand for products, which is an illegal supply chain. 